But I, I think also the important one for our kids is to really teach them the value of the whenua that we, we, we live upon. You know, we, we, we are connected to our streams, our waterways, everything. It's, it's important that we recognise that and hold that mana to maintain the next 150 years yeah. or even longer. This podcast is proudly supported by the Ōtara Network Action Committee, ONAC, community-owned, community-driven and community-led. Okay, <laughs> tēnā koutou katoa, ko Judy Sveit, taku wingua, and hoki maia no ki, we are Ōtara. These are the stories of Ōtara. We're telling it like it is here on Love Road Present because it's important to record these stories for us, for our whānau and for our future. Today I'm really excited to have with me Kaumatua Chris Pumare, um, who is a great source of advice and insight. And what I was just saying to Chris in the introduction was, how about we have a bit of a series on this and I can come and have a good cry in the podcast studio once a month or so and call it, you know, conversations with Kaumatua, Kaumatua Kōrero, Kōrero Kaumatua. We'll come up with a name over the next few weeks. But... Because, you know, we all have a time when we need to sit down and get advice about when the going gets tough, and it gets tough down here all the time. So mm. I can't do this on my own, and being Komatua led is a very um, wonderful gift for us as a community. So introducing you now to Chris, again, who not a stranger to the podcast studio. Yeah, kia ora mai te iwi tara, Chris Pomeroy tōku ingoa. Uh, 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 so here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> so if I can start with something that's really troubling me, um, we have so many of our kids at Anton School. Yes. Um, and we're not getting anywhere with our agencies responsible for getting kids in school. Um, we reach out on a regular basis. We've had a few enrolled at Takura, but um, that's a really hard bar to leap from out for our whānau as well because it's it's just not the way they engage. They want you know no, Takura no. want people online. They want they, they don't want to meet face to face, and yet that's how our whānau work. And so you know down there today, I've got five kids that should all be in school, mm. and you know that's probably a light day. So, one of the things that I'm thinking about, and we were talking about that in the car park the other day, was that maybe we can get kids excited about learning through learning um, the taha Māori side of their life or the taha Pacifica side of their life. Yeah. And wondering what your thoughts are. No, on no, that. I think I totally agree with that. I think it takes it away from the normal, uh, the norms of uh, uh, what is it our. Uh, uh, oh gee, I forgot the word. I just had it. What the uh, hustle influences yeah, from yeah. Uh, you know the influences of uh, the the different um, uh, groups that are here. We we have there's Otara is filled with different different groups, different mm. organisations that and their influences on our babies, and that's what to me is pulling pulling them away from the real uh, line of them being educated or losing that touch. Um, because uh, Otara is, is known for a, a, a wide range of things that our kids can get stuck up with or got get caught up in. Yeah. And I think that's what it is. So the bike life around here has really excelled to another level. Um, we our children are starting to get cocky out there. You know, they're riding, they're riding with no licenses and things like that. There's no, there's no, uh, what do you call it? No uh, discipline in, in how they they should look. So if you're a young fella, you should be out there getting a license. You know, those mm. those things to back you up. 
But in terms of our kudas, you know, it's it's right across the board. We we're having trouble with that. Doesn't mm. matter how we do it. Not think, necessarily kuda kaipapa Māori, but, but through but the, the kuda, kuda the Māori, mainstream. Yeah, mainstream. Mm. I'm talking about mainstream mm. on that one. Uh, with the but the kuda Māori is is um, is quite active in the schools, except maybe a few which I'm already aligned with at the moment to help out. Mm. Um, but the Māori and Pacific uh, movements are, are, are alive and well inside the kura. But, you know, you, our kids have got a habit of walking away from that nana jandal thing. Get fussy by lots. Yeah, they, you know they got a, they they so used to that nana jandal thing now it's not a it's not a it's not an issue anymore to a lot mm. of our young ones you know they they accept that I would say like that physically nana, yeah yeah so um, their hesitation in terms of trying to you know uh, full dreams of good church going whanos, you know mm. all of that is is dying out rapidly. Um, but it's still there. As for the marae, what we do at the marae is try to enhance the, the old Māori world, you know, mm-hmm. from the roots of the marae status, knowing, you know, the place to learn is on there. Um, and we've uh, I've actually um, started to slowly enhance that a little bit with our men and our women doing kai karanga, kai kōrero, mm-hmm. which means their appearance so the kids are coming to watch mum and dad and doing their thing you know so that's a yeah. different look for them yeah yeah so i'm hoping that we can set up uh, some youth programs in there like uh uh Mourako, Taiaha, and that sort of stuff you know yeah. the games well the Mourako was what we were talking about the other week yeah, wasn't it? I, yeah, yeah. I just think it would be amazing for our kids yeah, to it learn. Would be it will be not only for the our kids the, the adults in the pokeke will love that yeah. too um, yeah, because yeah. that has a different feel and a different understanding in life, you know, Modaka. Yeah. yeah. And I think, you know, for those of our listeners that don't quite understand, I mean, what, what I'm seeing anyway, and I we could start with you, um, but, but what I, I just see is that the, the kids are attracted to discipline. Yes. And to fight with discipline is, is really attractive. Yes. And what an amazing m- situation. Yeah, or, or uh, context, I guess, to yeah. learn discipline, but also be fit, and vibrant. Vibrant, yeah. Yeah. But but within a a controlled, kaupapa led. That's that's environment. right. Environment. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's it's really basis. And there's nothing new about that because that's history. If you are have that connection, you 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 already have it. Mm. You know, you've just gone and closed the door on it and you don't know it just yet. But at least it gives you that foundation, that, yeah, the tucking to, yeah, to yeah, go back to. And, yeah, yeah, so they'll be able to. I've seen that later. in some of my cousins, yes. 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 It, it, it's there. So is that. Just thinking about that. Well, maybe we come back to things that we might do later. But, so that's like one thing for kids. That yeah, that's one thing. Come to the marae. Come to the marae. Learn. Learn. Uh, there's going to be a few different types of programs that are mm. coming up shortly. I'm just sorting out uh, the Kohanga Challenges. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a marae challenge, but it's all Kohanga ones. So <laughs> we're setting that yeah. up on the 19th for that one. We have another one event coming to called From Hawaii to Otara. So everything in the history of Hawaii New, Hawaii Roa, Hawaii Pamama will flow down into the Otara history, and you know we look at that journey and how it's created Otara. Uh, from wow! Uh, and that will be held at oh at Hillary College on the fifth. Mm-hmm. I'm going to highlight that out very shortly. Yep. Um, that's one pro. Fifth of October. Uh, October, October. Oh, that's the beginning. That's the of- fifth. Yeah, okay, so it's a school holiday thing. That's on the 19th of this. Uh, sorry, the. The kids are back on the 14th. Yeah, of yeah, they come back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but we have those two dates that are that are available for that at the moment. And the other one was uh, Wahakura. That's another learning one for our babies, our new mums, and all that sort of stuff. Making the. What do you call it? The. Uh, Babies bassing it, oh yeah, but out of harakiki, so they, they wanted to like that. Yep. So that there's going to be programs on that. Yeah, pee well. pods, I think they yeah, call them. Yeah, baby pods. That's, so nice. that's, that's the word. Yeah. Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah. 
So what I'm thinking about is how can we, down here at Accelerating Aotearoa at Lovegrove, connect with some of those things? Because that was, I mean, we loved coming, you know, bringing yeah. all the kids down yeah. um, in the last school holidays and, and loved that whole, you know, um, that the whole welcome that, that you put on for us, that um, whakatau. And, you know, the cops said to me afterwards, none of them had ever been called on at Nati, and so for them it was really special as well, even if they did lose the rugby. Um, that said, I mean, what did you expect? You know, the cops. Well, well Nati had a, yeah. a, a history of non Māori leading the marae away over the over yeah. the histories with with respect in their hearts to how mm. they wanted Nati Otara to look. Uh, there was not many Māori injected into it really. Uh, but now... It was more of an idea that yeah, somebody yeah, else had. Yeah, that that was what I was always concerned about. Yeah. It felt like that. That was This was government, central yeah, government, local all, government yeah, saying... Yeah, it was all local government. Oh, we need a marae. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's it. And uh, during that time would have been some local issues with the tangata whenua here as well, which we are still going through. Yes, well, we don't, don't, probably don't need to quite go there today. Yeah, no, not yet anyway. But no. um, uh, all of those sort of things, uh, since uh, the... And it's going to be a new look on since the uh, death of Kingi Tuhetia. Yeah. I mean, we're going to have to have another look at yeah. uh, what, you know, how that's going to transpire with our new queen and all that yeah. sort of stuff. Because... I think that it's important now for Māori to see this young lady to be leading, you know, a good quorum yeah. of Māori people. Yeah. And, uh, and what I think it's thing. only fair mm -hmm. that all Māori should support her to the mm -hmm. max. It doesn't well, matter. that was what Tu Haiti has said, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Ko Tahi Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to be arrogant with Ngāpū and that, but, you know, that the, it was... Uh, it was always a build-up to recognition of who the Kingi Tanga is, but mm. uh, and uh, we probably limited ourselves into really injecting ourselves into it. But I think it's a good time. This is all we all go inject. back and yeah. remember our tiny fuck papa. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> Tick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. For so that's the leadership. He, that's the leadership. So that, thing. is that yeah. the fourth thing? Oh, no. So we're talking about. Like basic skills and, and games and games through skills and learning yes, and, and then yes, the ways yes, and then the leadership. Yes, that the, that's the that's that's the, the role. Yeah. That's the format. You know, that's the leadership comes first in yes, fact, doesn't it? And understanding the leadership. And then yeah, the to do that, um, to really to go. Oh, geez, how would I explain this one? It's really to go back to biblical stages to mm. actually to get a proper. Uh, Outlook on where life is actually taking you individually. Yeah, I know it's a bit of a hard one, but um, I I talk about when we do our men's corridor to understand the man's role from the beginning of time. Yeah, and how it all transpired into where it is today. Yeah, yeah, but simple things. As long as we respect the past, we all good. So that's an interesting thing that you're coming back with the, um, in terms of tikanga. Yeah. So what's a tikanga for Nati yeah, Ota? I don't know. Because yes. you're talking about men speaking. Well, yeah. I come from they a place where women speak. Tikanga is, yeah. is in many, 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 many yeah. has many roles. You know, yeah, but there's the, the kawa. Yeah, the kawa. The, with the that kawa well. Nati Ōtara is. The, the kawa of Nati Ōtara is, like I said, uh, because I'm Ngāpui, I, I use, mm. use Ngāpui kawa. Right, no disrespect to the areas, it's only because my bloodline tells me that. Yeah. And then when uh, the hirers come in or whoever's uh, on and they from a different part, well, then it's their colour. It's not Ngapui colour. You move but it. I guess it does create a. Uh, no, the, 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 the marae for Ngati Otara is an urban marae. It's, yeah. it's based for everyone within their community. So mm. everyone has their own colour, everyone has their own mana. So the mana, when they come to hire or mm -hmm. come to use the, the whare, they will implement their kawa. Okay. Yeah, they will not implement Ngāpui kawa. Though Ngāpui welcome them onto the whare or whatever tribe we have here, mm -hmm. um, then the train, they, they actually hand it over to the, the hirers and the kayakwe, the kawa. Mm. You are the... 
Yes, yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's that's it. I guess I knew that, but I didn't think it. Yeah. It, it, it kind of matters. It, what does yeah, matter? Yeah, it kind of matters. You know, if you're from Too Far Tour, you're from Tainui. But or particularly you're from, if you if yeah. you um, you know if you if it's a tangi and the tangi hunger needs to be your own cover. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. Well. That's so maybe that's probably where we start then, isn't it? Yeah, for, for the yeah. kids to understand, because you know a lot of our kids don't understand. Right. I, um, I did a corridor even, down Hillary with the kids, and I sort of mentioned this line. I says, uh, "We, we, including yourselves, are all visitors here. We have to mm. understand that we in, are in someone else's house. We live, we live upon someone else's home." Sort of thing, you know. It's yeah. not nothing, but they, they, yeah. the kids sort of understood that, you know. They, they thought, well, because some of them, well, they cook on or tongan, then they say we, we understand that, that this is not our home. That we're well, not mana whenua. We are, yeah. Mm. So we just respect that, and live a colonial life. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> there's only, there's only sharing part I understand is colonial life together from many communities coming together. Anyway. But for the, our kids to be strong Samoans and strong Tongans and strong Māori, you know, lots of them, I think Pacifica as a community have done that much better than we've done it here as Māori, but because so many of our kids have got no idea about anything. That's, that's correct. That's correct. And, and so from the beginning, so it's for more than 20 years now, what we've been trying to do with... This organisation is to to create those connections with nannies. That's right. Um, and it's always been nannies, I guess, because we're talking about a lot of yeah. many kids, and, and you know, learn things. You know, we've been yeah. learning the raranga, but not just how to make a putty putty. We learn, you know, the karakia, and we learn yeah, all yeah. Of the cover that goes around the harvest and the. That's right. Um, That's good. Yeah. Well, it has been good, but I'm just wondering about how we can work with you to enhance that for, you know, these kids that, that basically grow up here. Yeah. So maybe we just come well, down that, more often. If we were able to come up with short programs of some yeah. type. But I, I want to work on a lot of uh, Māori um, games mm. to bring those into play and make it a enjoyable thing. But we'll start mm. with games. I don't think... Putting our kids up on a, on the tomato and do five corridor is 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 the thing, or even teaching mm. our young girls karanga at this point. Mm. They have to grow to be a child first before they can become that role. Or oh, as you said, from the yeah, yeah. Uh, and just being implemented in, in small small spaces or small bits. Just yeah, teaching them. Um, but I, I think also the important one for our kids is to really teach them the value of the whenua that we, we, we live upon. You know, we, we, we are connected to our streams, our waterways, everything. It's, it's important that we recognise that and hold that mm. mana to maintain the next 150 years yeah. or even longer. Well, that's why that next conversation that you've got the quarter over with that lovely Charlotte is yes. so important. Yes, I want to catch up with Charlotte. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it's something that, that we've talked about a lot, her and I. Um, I, I. I see a fundamental role there, and that's back to you know, how do we sustain and connect, connect and, and sustain. Yeah. And something that she and I have talked about, but also with the lovely Huya Mupaying. <laughs> who really started this work with us um, in creating this role of Kaitaka Wainga. Yeah. So we were really lucky that um, Waterways and Lakes Trust um, gave us some funding to establish that role. Right. Um, and that funding came from Help Local Board, which we're really fortunate right. with. Right. But going forward, that's not just a role that sits with the Waterways and Lakes Trust, of course. It's a role that sits across Hapuri Ōtara. Yes. And so... That was why we've created, you know, we, we've said, okay, well, Charlotte, you've got that role there. Could you also be that role for Accelerating Aotearoa? Because it makes sense. And yeah. we don't have a lot of funding to support, to support it at the moment, but we've yeah. got a little bit, and yeah. she's got a, a big heart, and she wants to do she it. Yeah. And so that's a really good start. And and then there's a, certainly, I know that, you know, ONAC has expressed a vision too, as a yeah. network, to say, yep, this is what we want to be doing too. So let's not go off and think, yeah. Um, 
so we'll come back to that bit about what's going on at yeah yeah there yeah there's plenty um, of time and then so coming back to what we were talking about which was I was really connected with it um, the games. Oh, yes. So connecting with the game so that the kids can be as children yes. in a kaupapa Māori context or yes. kaupapa Pasipika yes. context. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the game, and so what sort of games we talked about, Mauraka. Yeah, course. yeah, Mauraka is one of them, but there's but strategies around really all that. But it's also really steeped in, it is deeply yeah, yeah, steeped it, it in, is, in a whole lot of. Yeah, a whole lot of things. But so you don't want any old there. kid turning up and you. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. They, it is they can make it a fun... Fun, uh, even fun, if you do have to get up before yeah, dawn. Oh, we'll, we'll work on that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know how much you like dawn. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, that, those <laughs> things. There are a lot more games than, um, than the particular ones we're talking about. There's yeah. a whole variety of them. But there was something that um, Corona, who's recording us today, yeah. his um, partner was showing us that we thought we might do as well, which I don't have it here. Um, but the the breaking through that she did it, it um, okay, and it's got a special name. What's its special name? Um, um, I've got a picture of it. Here it is. I oh, know that's not the picture that I'm looking for. Um, and we thought we might do it with the kids. Where it's a it's a breaking out, breaking free. Um, oh come on. Come on, come on, come on. No, it's not there. Um, where you go, you have like like the with the the, the, the stick game, the, the raka game. Yeah, yeah. But you um you you do actions with it. Yeah. And breakthroughs to the next realm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got what's it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay oh. Anyway, we thought we'd have a crack at that, but I mean, this is bringing enough people together to. Actualize that here. We we need help. Yeah, yeah. And if you're running it in other places, you know, we, there's no reason why we can't. I don't know, walk Jump down on. or whatever. Or, yeah, yeah. No, or we I, can use here. I mean, the Malai is obviously a, a great venue. Yeah. The the reason I joined, uh, started the Kai Karanga and the Kai Corridor was to mm. actually build around that what we're mm. talking about. So to get them uh, actively involved with something that they're passionate about, and it's Karanga. Yeah. You know, knowing all the da da da. But during that walk, you you got to add on the, bra- the, the yeah the the different um, to take their mind off what they're actually there for, change it so that they so that they don't they don't lose the connection to that and they want to come back all the time you know like mm. that. But if they they harping on it too much, they can actually lose it. You know they, it'll it'll drift from. Well, the, it's not fun anymore. It's I not suppose, fun yeah. anymore. Becomes dry and become you know boring. So the idea is to implement games in between the middles. And the idea also is to inject the children to be a part of those games with their mum and dads so that, you know, that's the build-up of, of what it is. Um, my grandchildren, they're only 12, 14, but they teach Modako at the Kura where they're at. Do yeah. they? Yes. How wonderful. Oh, I think they just show off, that's all. But, <laughs> you know, they they have something that they want to share with others. So I, I use them on my, during my Sunday karangas. Yeah. So they round up all the kids and they get a stick each and they're over in the paddock doing their own little thing, you know, and the like kids love kids, it. Yeah. The kids yeah. love it, yeah. And it, it becomes something that whanau do together, of and course, doesn't it? And it becomes something whanau does together. That's really special. Um, yeah, well, that's the aim in the, yeah. in the model. So how, can, how could we take what we're doing here... We, you know, we have a school holiday program, six days of yeah. undivided attention from the kids because right. they love it. Yeah. They all come. Cause sometimes it's, I think it starts because mum makes them because I've already had them at home for three yeah. days in the holidays. But yeah. um, you know, we could we're at capacity every single time we hold the program. Yeah, so, yeah. So that, and they're the same kids that come back over and over, over and over, and over again. Over and over again. Yes, that's right. That's right. So that that's a, it's a perfect learning spot if we can harness them. Yes. Yes, we can. In some we can do it together. I mean, it's, I can't see that not happening. You know? mm. Well, uh, no, we desperately want that yeah. for us as a community. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, Joining I, I, I realise that. Mm. The, uh, the wider, the wider scope. Well, it's going to keep us away from selling drugs. I don't know about that. You know, mm. everyone has their own norms. 
Um, but that is a goal that we have to try and do, or shift it so they, they know what they're dealing with when it comes to drugs. Not mm. you, you close them off, they're going to test it, mm. because that's what kids do. But if, you, if they had a, a learning environment of what that does, then maybe there's change there, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But well, that's the thing, I guess we do that with the cops too, couldn't we? No, we do that with the cops. We do that with all our doctors. We do that with just about everybody who tells you it's not the right thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. But then if you weigh it up against every other non-legal uh, da-da-da, you probably, uh, probably come out drinking more alcohol than you would be smoking weed. Because you're so exhausted. <laughs> well, not at the rate Daniel's going, closing down anyone without a licence. But anyway. Yeah. That's not what I want to think about. I really no. just want to enhance the good things that Otara can provide. For yeah, me. the good things. The good things. And work together so that the great things are, are even right. more enhanced, That's really. Right. Yes. Okay, so I think we should come with a, a little wrap here that yep, we're going to put at sure. the end. Um, not a wrap, wrap. A wrap is in a bit enough. of a summary. Yep. So what we've talked about today has been that whole bringing people back through not just enlightenment but through um, knowledge. Yes. And the underlying co-papa of all of it is, is looking to um, Taras Irudangi, in fact, and looking at that, the vision of, of engagement, engaging and sharing and yes. peaceful. Peaceful. Future. So, I mean, all of the amazing um, rangatira over in history were, were those kind of people, weren't they? Yes, yes. They were you know, gentle trading, oh, well, with a couple of yeah, notable the, exemptions. The kaumatu, but, the kaumatu, yeah. the kaua were more gentle. The nanas can be quite, you know, firm, but, uh, but loving at the same time. Mm. So that whole connection about love, yeah. inspiring around love is being there more than... Love and sharing and time. connection. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and then using games to, to understand yeah. and, and bring, yeah, bring our history back to life and into right. relevance. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm working on that one. I'm working on a few other ones. Well, we want to be on, in that walker with you, please. Yep. Yep. Really, I truly. I'll let you know when we, we, we'll yeah. do a games day. We'll, 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 make, we'll make it something like uh, all, all Tarahapuri challenges or something yeah, like that, that day, you know. Could do it out there. Yeah, could do it anywhere. Yeah, have, and then yeah. we could we could just get another group. To what do Power Wars call these at these days? They've got much more. Power Wars. Power Wars. Yeah, we've seen those ones. The north, south, south. It's called uh, something Just else. some places are. Yeah, they still okay. hold that. No, they still have it at Kaio, but it's not called Power Wars. Oh, is it It's called? called something much more oh. peaceful. Peaceful. <laughs> I don't know. Power challenge, perhaps. Um, anyway, we could do that in Otara. That would yeah, be really fun. Yeah, we can fun. do that in Otara. We can do that. We can involve the schools. We can yeah. put it all up. We can, you know, you can magnify it through everybody. Yeah. And uh, pick a nice location. And, and a nice time of the year. Yeah, April. April nice sounds time good of the to year. Me. And then uh, let's see what happens. So you heard it here first, Fano. It's going to be Parables Otara style. Yeah. In... April 2025. Yeah, that'll be a yeah. good, good goal. Yeah. Anyway. That'll be lovely. Kia ora mā tātou. We'll be back again very soon. In another month, I'm going to revisit this with um, Matua Chris, and he's going to have something else to share with us. Yes, yes, hopefully. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll support. Woohoo!